What's up guys, it's your boy. So, everybody thinks flatbed is better because car haulers are restricted. But are they really? In this video, I'm going to let you know why a car hauler is less restricted than a freight hauler. And it starts now. What's up guys, it's your boy, coming back with another video. This video, um, it's all about cars and freight. Um, a lot of people know I just did a collab with Piglet. And, uh, no, that's not where I've been the last couple days. I, uh, actually did that with him a couple, probably a week or so ago. But, um... If you haven't figured out what's been going on with me lately, you will see because there's a vlog coming up. But, um, there's a big, I see this a lot and I understand why people think this way. Um, so, I'm just going to fix it a little bit, you know? So, people get this idea that freight haulers can haul cars but car haulers can't haul freight. Well, that's not entirely true. A car hauler means you can haul any car in the country that you want. Pause, hold that one second. So, a lot of people say it's not complete without seeing the boss. Boss man. Hey, boss man. There's boss man. So, now y'all seen Bobby. It's official. Apparently, he's the star of the show anymore. So, I want you to take a Mustang, a Corvette, a Lexus, an Ultima, an Impala, a car. Any car. If it's not on 26, it's donked up. And load it on your 40 foot 40 foot flatbed. I would almost bet money you can't do it. Even um, like dub to or uh, mega ramps, it doesn't work like that. The reason being, the cars have a lower, um, they're lower. So when you are up on the trailer, or down on the ground, you're right, you're you're gonna scrape. You're gonna tear stuff up. I want you to think about. I have I am two feet off the ground in the back, and in order to haul low cars, I have ten foot ramps. I can make it with eight foot ramps, but at times I need to have uh, wood underneath of them. So. You can't haul anything on a flatbed. But now my trailer, you see an angle. It's angled. It's not as steep as one might think. There is ways to haul freight on here if you wanted to, depending on the freight. I've hauled pallets. Um, I've hauled tractors, you know. I've hauled that kind of stuff. Do I go out of my way looking for it? No. So, and I've said this before, if your roof starts to leak, are you going to call the plumber? Or the electrician? Or are you going to call the roofer? So, and people truly think like this. When you are a car hauler and people see your trailer, they ask you about hauling cars. When you're a flatbed, and Piglet mentioned this, and people see you, they don't ask you about hauling stuff. Because you're not car hauler. You are not going to make that much more money hauling boats. It's actually, in my opinion, counterproductive 
to focus on both. If I'm a car hauler focusing on looking for freight, then that means I'm taking time away from my bread and butter. Now, as a freight guy, you can haul trucks. You can haul some SUVs. But it's going to be easier for you to find freight. So the whole idea of restriction is not realistic. You are more restricted buying a hot shot than you are buying a car hauler. Or especially the guys that are not CDL. But I don't want to restrict myself. Well then haul some weight, son. Like, I know I started non-CDL. But, knowing what I know now, I would have never ventured into that. Um, I mean, it did. I probably, actually, I lied. I probably would have because of the truck I had. Because that truck couldn't haul 30K. 28K, 29K. But, just because you have a flatbed does not. I mean, you're super trucker, super hauler, and life is great. In order to get cars off of Central, you need so many ratings a lot of the times. If you're hauling three cars a month, you're not going to have the ratings to get the quality loads. You're not going to spend the time to get signed up with the quality brokers. So, why are you going to waste your time focusing on something that you're not fully involved in? Take that time and invest it in the finding direct customers, direct shippers, or doing something else. I mean, and I'm not saying don't haul cars at all. But if you're solely not buying a car trailer because you don't want to restrict yourself, then don't haul cars, period. I would love to see you with a 40-foot flatbed put three trucks, three vans. You're probably even stretching it to get three um, or two of those long sprinter vans on. There is a reason they make car haulers. There's a reason we have specialized trailers. There's a reason RGNs have specialized trailers. It's specialized freight. And you show up on a flatbed, they're going to watch you. Any little inclination of something got messed up, is you're behind on the chopping block. Like, ba -la, bing, and you're done. All for what? For what? What did you gain? You probably spent more time getting that car than it was worth if you did your numbers correctly. So, you guys can haul single trucks, you can haul vans, that's cool. But, Buying a car hauler is not restricting yourself. If that's the way you think, you need to really, 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 did I say really? Research what you're talking about. What you're getting into and what you're thinking. It's that simple. Car haulers haul cars. Freight guys haul freight. So... If you're the one listening to these guys about, oh, you're restricting yourself. Learn the business, please. Learn the business. Specialized makes money. I think car haulers may be a little specialized. But, what do I know? So, that's, um, that's that. Don't buy a trailer based on your thoughts with no experience in the business. 
bounce it off with somebody that does it. Watch Toe Piglet. How many cars does he really put on his trailer? He's a freight guy. But Alright guys, my buddy's pulling up. I'm going back to his house. Um, so, like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. Peace.